to say I never drank in the convent, wrong. I got my first DUI while I was a nun. <laughs> Jody and I'm a recovering addict and I'm also a recovering sex worker and I have to make the distinction because you hear a lot of times that nobody says when they're young that they want to grow up and be a whore. Actually I did. Because whores look good to me. You know I was sexually abused as a child and to me that meant that I was sexually vulnerable. I was powerless. And to me, the whores were very powerful women. And so things start coming out of you. And I think, you know, I, I'm, I'm hoping that all this you relate to and that you'll say, oh, that's really familiar because I don't think there's really a whole lot that's new in what we know about people and their behavior. Uh, it starts coming out of the person and it's not thought up. It's pretty hard to develop a lie in that period of time. It's by far the easiest to just tell the truth about what's going on inside of you, what's going on inside of your life. And when you come from a culture, when you come from a tradition, where that is the way that you resolve problems, where that is the way that you heal. There is nobody really cares where I come from. People care about where I'm going. So I'm not gonna impress anybody by telling them where I've been. But as a newcomer, when we come in, that's all we have. You know what I mean? We don't know about uh, holding down a job. We don't know about being a responsible member of society. We, we know about playing handball. You know, talking trash, growing mustaches. Things are important, you know what I mean?